I'm Vitaly Vogt, who's the CEO of Imagine Communications. You spoke about the vision four years ago. Uh, can you tell us how that is translated now over a period of four years? Uh, we couldn't be more excited about where we're at right now. Um, you know, as, as I mentioned to uh, an audience yesterday, we have now 25 customers that are up and running on, on IP. We have uh, 50 traditional linear channels that are on IP and more than 3,000 uh, traditional linear uh, uh, streams that are all uh, based now on IP and so I, I see ourselves uh, continuing to execute on that plan that we laid out uh, a few years ago um, you know we uh, were really excited about uh, uh, you know the momentum around aims and, and, and the necessary um, uh, value aspects of, of bringing all of these key suppliers in our industry together to really, one, uh, commit to and adopt to the standards that are going to drive our industry going forward. You know, we have more than uh, 50 AIMS uh, partners that are now uh, part of that uh, steering committee. And, you know, here at the show in Hall 8, we have, I think, 32 of the 50 members that are all interopting uh, in an all IP environment. So. You know, this vision that we outlined a few years ago is, um, is, is really unfolding in a very positive way, so we're pretty excited about it. Speaking about AIMS, isn't there a concern that the industry seems to be splitting itself into two separate standards? I don't think so. I mean, you've got every major set, I mean, every, the, the, the criteria to be a member of AIMS is that you, you, you are going to adopt and you are going to move forward with a certain set of, of standards and you know if you look at the members of AIMS it's it's the major suppliers in our industry so including Everts and, and I don't know if that was the comment but uh, I, I think that you know the industry is aligned and I think that that's critical you know when we were when we fostered you know the, the need for AIMS you know 18 months ago it was really designed around this this uh, this, this sort of investment thesis that we were spending all this time, money, and energy investing in, in IP, and we realized that you know if we didn't have an ecosystem that uh, we could be interoperable with, we were going to uh, limit you know the amount of deployments that we had. And so, uh, you know, look, I mean, it's it's been wildly successful, and uh, you know, like I said, it, what we've seen this year at IBC and Hall Eight to see you know more than half of the members, you know, bring products into a complete ecosystem that is demonstrating to the world that uh, not only are, are we uh, demonstrating interoperability, but I think we're demonstrating the commitment to these standards and interoperability as we go forward, which I think is going to be essential for the industry to move forward in, in this particular area. Lovely. Thank you, Charlie. And all the best. Thank you.